too dangerous for good people who to speak their minds. Look at this good coon looking like a vampire. We cannot, as a community, we cannot. Shut the fuck as up. Students, we cannot, as members of the Twin Cities community, tolerate that. Oh, we so supposed to be scared? To Look at this coon. Law enforcement, the National Guard. But y'all coons like Trump. This is the kind of coons that support Trump. Care more about property than people. Rescuing and repelling attacks on our businesses, on our personal safety, on the personal liberties. What this coon vampire got on? Look. At this time, we introduce General Jensen. Well, I don't think I could uh, speak uh, with any more passion uh, than the four gentlemen that just spoke in front of me. So what I will do is just give you a quick update on the last 48 hours of the Minnesota National Guard's participation in this operation. 24 hours ago, we had approximately 400 guardsmen on state active duty in support of the governor's executive order. As mentioned by the governor yesterday, we reached the part, or reached the peak that the Minnesota National Guard had never been at before. Over 700 soldiers and airmen mobilized in support of the governor's executive order. And while it was the largest mobilization, and as Commissioner Harrington described, the largest law enforcement operation in Minnesota's history, it was not enough. Early yesterday, we began mobilizing additional soldiers and we expected and we expect by noon that Trump gave them the okay to kill y'all black asses mobilized and in support of the governor's executive order but that's not enough the governor just announced the full mobilization of the Minnesota National Guard for the first time since World War II wow what does that mean it means we're all in. Wow. We are all in with the two mayors to my left, their citizens, their communities that they represent. And we're all in to the two law enforcement professionals. To kill fucking black people. Supporting them to ensure we bring stability and peace.